There are many ways to enjoy Vermont's fabulous foliage, from a Sunday drive to above the ridge line in a hot air balloon or glider. But there's a new trend of people zipping right through it. In the canopies of Vermont's forest, some new noises are being heard. It's a new way to experience the beauty of the deep woods. It's called zip lining. With a click of a harness and a helmet on your head, you're ready for what is not exactly a walk in the woods. All right, here we go. This was my first time zipping, as it was for most of the group. Ready for this? I'm ready, I think. I hope so. <laughs> Me too. You're going to love it. We all agreed the first step is the most challenging. There we go, ready? <laughs> yeah. But once you let go, fear quickly turns into an amazing adrenaline rush. Zipline is mainly to get one person to, from one point to another platform in the air. Uh, otherwise, you take long bridges and frankly walking slow. And so if you can fly from spot to spot, you're for, one, fulfilling a dream to fly. And two, uh, it's just getting to a new ecosystem real quickly. Arbor Trek Canopy Adventures runs this high wire eco tour with a series of eight zips, two sky bridges and two rappels, moving you through the woods over the course of almost a mile. Well done. The course is based above the Nordic and uh, snowshoe trails of Smuggler's Notch Resort, so it's uh, pretty much another trail system, another elevation above theirs. However, this trail system only requires gravity. The start of the course is the highest point and you work your way down. There's a lot to see when you're 75 feet into the air. Guides tell you as much or as little as you want to know about the surroundings. This forest here was clear cut um, about 200 years ago. Um, it's been harvested a few times since then. Back in the day when they first came over here and saw all the large straight uh, eastern hemlocks on the east coast, they thought they'd make great um, masks for sails. Also the bark back in the day, they would use it to tan leather. You have sometimes thrill seekers that want to just come out and zip as fast as you can. And sometimes people want to know all about the birds and the natural flora and fauna. So you kind of blend the both. With the leaves changing color, autumn might be one of the prettiest times to zip, but at Arbor Trek, zipping occurs year round. Take your breath away, very good. It was uh, just radiant colors that we could see. We were above all the, the trees tops and it was just wonderful. To be up that high and um, just to see everything and, and how everything's changing and, and the streams and listening to the water and it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It was a very good feeling to, uh, to let go and then just feel that zip. Ooh, got the tear in the eye. Well, it did get easier and the last two were the most, but I got psyched out in my brain. I'm a music school teacher. You got it, awesome. And I just would sing a song as I zipped down the line. There is a method to this zippiness. How fast is this one? Um, I would say most people hit about 35 miles an hour. So if you're heavier, you go, you go faster. But if you're lighter, you might have, get stuck you in the might middle. Have a, if you do get stuck in the middle, we taught you how to pull yourself back in at ground school. So just sit right down, slide out a little bit. Oh God. If you have a real need for speed, you can double up and take a tandem ride with one of the guys. I like to think of it as a, um, like a good book that starts slow, you get introduced to the characters, a little foreshadowing, uh, all of a sudden the zips start getting longer, you can't see where you're going, dramatic, uh, then you have the big long thousand foot zip which is uh, you know, the climax and then kind of it winds down to some new repels and new skills to get through the woods. So it's a good way just to go out and enjoy the woods. A different perspective of the Vermont woods that comes with a real rush.